It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Oh my goodness, you guys. I've been working hard all day. Um, for those of you who have been watching me for years and years and years, I do have a big 3rd of July party every year um, for my husband's family. Our friends come. And um, this year, uh, we're having it tomorrow. So I've been grocery shopping. I actually got a couple of pop-up tents off of Amazon. I'll put the link below. I'm actually fairly impressed with these tents. So what I did was I got two of them for the front yard, kind of just sit side by side. They have this really cool um, blue and white striped top on them. And they're they're a little bit pricier than I normally would get um, on Amazon. They were hundred and forty two dollars, but it's a twenty dollar coupon, so it was like hundred and twenty dollars. But they had a really nice like um, clicking ability for the legs, and the only problem was it was a little bit hard. I actually put them up by myself, believe it or not. <laughs> so it is possible to put them up by yourself. I just kind of pulled the legs out. And then I got on a step stool and I pushed the top up and it clicked. And I'm hoping um, we don't have rain or storms tomorrow, which we're supposed to have at like two o'clock. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in a canopy tent, I'll put the Amazon link below. Um, I have Amazon affiliate link just to check it out because actually they were pretty good. I was pretty impressed with the tent. So I did that. I got a bunch of chairs up. I got a bunch of tables out. So I'm tired, <laughs> but it's all good. Um, I'll probably be on tomorrow to do at least one video. Um, a little fireworks tomorrow. And then, of course, then the fourth is the fourth. So we're in full summer mode. So what did I do? I created a summer July use it up box for myself. Um, because, you know, I know we're talking a lot about fall and we're talking a lot about Halloween, but honestly, like we're just like in the middle of summer and I know everyone is excited about the hot weather and um, summer activities. Uh, speaking of fall, I did get the um, Kringle Candle. Look at this Kittens in Cashmere fall collection. I'm going to be sharing this in the next video, but first we're going to do my July Use It Up bin. So I think my classic summer scent that I cannot do without, I actually put two of them in here, is Sunset Glow. It came back last year with a little straw in it. Um, this is like a BLN doll must have for me. Like it's like strawberry pancake. It's one of my favorite scents. I've been wearing it all day. Um, it's a fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. Oh my gosh, this scent has gotten me through today. It's so dreamy and so relaxing. It's got like that hint of cherry coconut. Honestly, like I was like, ah, I can make it through the day. Oh, I tested out my grill today. I got a, um, haven't had a grill for a while. I got a, one of those um, grills that's just the top of the grill. It doesn't have like, um, I'm not explaining this very well, am I? <laughs> It's just one that has just the grill top, so you can make pancakes or anything. I made hamburgers, and they actually turned out really well. And it wasn't that much. It was like, I think it was $199 at Sam's Club, but I'm really loving this grill. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm in like full-on summer mode here with the party, the grill. I got it going on. I bought like, I think I bought like 50 hot dogs yesterday. They're in the refrigerator. Um, I'll try and take some pictures. Uh, Golden Mango Lagoon. I like this one for summer. Sunny Mango, Saltwater Woods, and Coral Blooms. I'll wear this a couple days this summer. I gotta say, though, oh, that smells so good. I gotta say, Blueberry Bun Cake I have been wearing a lot. Oh, my gosh. Golden Mango Lagoon. Pull that out for summer. That smells amazing. Sweet Whiskey and Bonfire Bash. Bonfire Bash is already out on my dresser. That's like a staple. Um, but I also like Sweet Whiskey in the summer. Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. I know this is like typically a fall scent. I like it now. Oh, it smells so good. 
Um, what am I wearing tomorrow to the party? You know what I'm wearing, you guys. I'm wearing Firecracker Pop. I always wear this to my party on the 4th of July. Uh, I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to pull out my red, white, and blue, or if I'm going to pull out my Star Wars shirt. I'll have to say, I got this white shirt, though, at, um, at Kohl's. It was on sale. Look what I did. I got grill grease on it. I'm like, really? Who grills hamburgers and onions and a white shirt? I do. I actually didn't do too bad. I'll have to see if I can get that. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> That wasn't too smart, but pull pull out your firecracker pop this week. The juicy cherry is so good. Um, of course, I'm going to be using strawberry soda, uh, watermelon lemonade, and um, fruity sherbet scoop. Those are like my summer scents. The other one, I got a couple of groovy watermelons left. This is actually pink watermelon blast, which is juicy pink watermelon, sugared uh, strawberry blossom. And lime zest. I'm really sad this one didn't come back this year. They should have brought this back. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <gasps> I like it better than watermelon lemonade. And I love watermelon lemonade. That's the funny thing. Um, oh yeah, pink watermelon blast. <gasps> it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love that one. I think I might polish my furniture uh, with pink watermelon blast. Or, um... Firecracker pop. I don't know. I got I still have to clean my house. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm going to do later tonight. I'm not going to go all out. Like usually most of the party is outside and then, you know, people are kind of coming in and out. It's basically 92 tomorrow. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll have to have the air conditioner on. Um, unfortunately, I, I tried to get Lenny to come back for the party, but he's like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to drive for another, you know, couple hours because he'd have to be back in Pennsylvania. Um, on Friday. So I was like, Oh, I wouldn't let you see these new Kringles, but, um, I don't, I don't think he's coming this time unless he surprises me. Um, sparkling peach sangria. You know me, I usually don't like peach. This is part of that cocktail collection. I really love this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of Lenny, um, he filmed the finale of in the name of Jamie Wakefield, Too Pretty for a Boy. I put it up in my community tab. So if you check it out, if you haven't seen the pilot that he wrote and you want to go through the entire series, it's all on there. So that was kind of exciting uh, because Ted Burr, um, this man right, right here, is going to, would have been 100 on July 26. He actually passed away about 15 years ago. But um, yeah, he would have been 100 in July. Vampire blood. We're doing like a, like a chat and then talking about <laughs> sense. I keep going back and forth today, you guys. I'm a little scattered today. Uh, vampire blood. I know this is in a summer set, <laughs> but you know me. I'm getting excited for Halloween. I like this in the summer. It's always a good scent to do in the summer. Um, I pulled out my grapefruit frosé. This is a good one. Uh, sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé, and sun-splashed sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might mix this. This firecracker pop. That smells so good. A little grapefruit in there. I love it. By the way, my hair is starting to settle in. I dyed my hair a couple days ago. I just used the L'Oreal Age Defying. And usually at the first day I dye it, it looks a little funky. But I noticed today it's starting to... Um, do its thing. I've been using my um, Avon. Check it out. I like this so much. This is a rosemary mint. It's the Organis Strengthening Shampoo. I love this so much. So check out my other channel, uh, Beauty Geek, if you're interested in um, new shampoo, which I'm loving. I told you, this is like a mishmash. We're, we're chatting today. I should have just done a live. I, I couldn't get it together, though. Um, I may do a live on Friday night. Angel can moderate, I think, Friday night. Friday night would be a good night to catch up with you guys. Um, Sunwash Citrus. This one is sugar lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. Um, fresh and healthy lemon, too, is a good one for summer, obviously. I do have that one out. I love Sunwash Citrus, though. It's so refreshing. Absolutely love that one. By the way, um, speaking of refreshing, see, I'm, going, I'm all over the place today. Uh, my daughter and I went to Starbucks today and we're usually not Starbucks people. I usually just go to McDonald's and get, um, you know, my McDonald's on sweet tea. 
but we saw that they have their um their refreshers the pink it's like a pink strawberry i don't know i'm, I'm not good at ordering at starbucks because they're so complicated <laughs> What did I just order? It's a pink drink with strawberries. Oh my gosh, that's like my new favorite drink. And I usually, like I said, don't even go to Starbucks, but it was so like refreshing. Um, and I think it's called a refresher. Uh, fresh vanilla blossom. This is actually a good one. Sugared petals, soft sandalwood, and vanilla bean. Um, this is a really nice chill scent for summer um, in that vanilla family. This is a good summer scent. So that's kind of what I pulled for um, my July. And of course, we all know Halloween preview is coming on July 19th. So I'm going to get everything there. And I'm sure we're going to start seeing like new stuff arriving like for fall one. So there's a lot going on. Anyway, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm going to do my Kringle video next. And then I got to get to work. I'm looking at my living room going, oh my gosh, I have people coming over tomorrow and I actually need to start cleaning. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.